150 million. That's 44 and three quarters. Done. Who taught you to fish? America exports a lot of food to other countries, but not these. Here are 10 American banned foods. Interesting. Fruit Loops. Hello. I'd uh, like to ask a few questions about this breakfast cereal. The start to a perfect morning is different depending on what part of the world you visit. Some cultures choose to start their mornings with rice, others with fruit, and others still choose bacon and eggs. It's clear that the perfect breakfast is subjective. In America, many people choose to start their day with cereal. There are a million different varieties when it comes to cereal that range from healthy to almost pure sugar. Fruit Loops has been unapologetically one of America's favorite cereals ever since Kellogg's introduced it back in the 19th. 1960s. The colorful Toucan Sam mascot and equally colorful cereal have been a major household name ever since. So it's a wonder that many countries choose to completely reject this American staple from their own breakfasts. Even though Fruit Loops is one of the most deliciously kaleidoscopic cereals in America, that alone doesn't make it immune to familiar pitfalls. Breakfast! Breakfast! What the? What is this? Once again, we find out that Fruit Loops is loaded with artificial dyes, preservatives, and chemicals. It's not the most comforting fact when you go to pour yourself a bowl of cereal in the morning. Once again, the Scandinavian countries, along with certain European nations, choose to boycott the cereal. Whatever your stance on Fruit Loops, we find it hard to believe that a little bad news will shake the American faith in it. It's been said for a long time that these breakfast cereals were made of pure sugar. Are we really surprised that they're just slightly more? more unhealthy than we thought? Either way, people will continue to eat the colorful cereal. Part of a balanced breakfast? Maybe, maybe not. Part of American culture? No doubt about it. She knows, I told her. Stovetop stuffing. There we are. Oh, it looks delicious. <laughs> ah, stuffing. It's one of the greatest pleasures related to Thanksgiving. Every family has their own unique spin and recipe, and it remains a holiday staple even to this day. However, some of the ingredients have left other countries around the world scratching their heads. But when it comes to stovetop stuffing, countries like the United Kingdom and Japan have been quick to pull it from their shelves due to the appearance of BHT and BHA, butylated hydroxytoluene and beta-hydroxy acid. One of the most common BHAs is salicylic acid, which is a common ingredient in many cosmetic products. It's known to reduce fine lines and add a silky sheen to the skin. But are BHAs really safe for human consumption? Experts can't agree. Due to this culinary stalemate, some countries would rather not roll the dice. Americans can keep their stuffing, but the rest of the world is just going to focus on skincare at the moment. Don't make lines. Quiet the face. Coffee Mate Creamer. Yuck. Ooh, it's terrible but wonderful at the same time. It's like freedom in a cup! Coffee makes the world go round. If it's one thing that we as humans can all agree on, it's coffee. However, what goes into your morning cup of joe is an entirely different story. Coffee Mate is a widely recognized brand that makes all sorts of coffee peripherals and coffee makers, instant powders, and most importantly, coffee creamer. This is where the company lands themselves in hot water, no pun intended, with the rest of the world. Trip. Two ingredients found in Coffee Mate Creamer make it a no-go for certain Scandinavian countries like Norway and Sweden. These two ingredients are hydrogenated soybean and cottonseed oil. There's been much debate about seed oils in the last few years. These highly processed cooking oils have landed on the radar of many health organizations over the years, and a worldwide conversation is being had about their place in our food. It turns out that the more you process a food, the less healthy it tends to be. And and as a result, you won't always be able to find your favorite creamer on shelves overseas. <laughs> First time here? Well then welcome! Now go ahead and hit that subscribe button and never miss out. Thanks, you're the best. Skittles. You gonna taste the rainbow? When you pop a handful of Skittles in your mouth, are you tasting the rainbow? Or perhaps you're tasting the multitude of food dyes that go into the production of the candy. These artificial additives have made this colorful candy public enemy number one in countries like Norway. 
Yellow number no. 5 and yellow number no. 6 are both used in the production of Skittles, and at one point, this sweet treat allegedly employed the use of red number no. 40. These three food colorings have been linked to studies that show adverse health effects when ingested regularly. Whatever your stance on this colorful candy, it remains a hot button issue for some countries around the world. Skittles are also known to be created with titanium dioxide, which some scientists have likened to paint primer. Certain publications have called this substance poisonous and unfit for human consumption. The truth of the matter is that Skittles were just a poster child for an ingredient that many American foods already contain. While it's true that some of these additives are not necessarily healthy, all things should be enjoyed in moderation, and Skittles are still on American shelves to this day. If you're planning a trip overseas, you'll just have to make sure you aren't going to a country that has banned the Skittles rainbow. The rainbow? How far is that? Twinkies. Tell them about the Twinkie. What about the Twinkie? The Twinkie is a true testament to human ingenuity. It's a soft sponge cake that's loaded with a perfect creamy filling. Ever since its inception, this confectionery has been a powerhouse pop culture icon. Its marketing has graced television, product placement can be seen in movies, and nearly every supermarket chain in America carries them. It was an entire plot point in the movie Zombieland, for crying out loud. Where's the f Twinkies? Whatever Americans think of the food, you'd be hard-pressed to find one that hasn't at least tried one, let alone heard of the brand. Mm -hmm. Some consider it to be a perfect treat, but not every country shares this sentiment. Once again, the yellow number no. 5 is present in the snack, but also high fructose corn syrup and processed oils. This trifecta makes Twinkies a hard sell for some governing bodies. Some nations have just labeled it as too unhealthy, and since the nostalgia and tradition of Twinkie isn't as strong in other parts of the world, it becomes easy for certain European countries to say, No thank you. The EU requires warning labels on their food packaging when related to dyes and artificial flavorings. So we regret to report that this hostess snack was a no-go right from the start. Ritz Crackers mm. America loves crackers, and there's one that rises above the rest. Ritz crackers are some of the most buttery and delicious culinary creations ever made. Still, there are some issues. Ritz crackers just so happen to be made with hydrogenated oils that make them a no-go for Scandinavian countries and certain other corners of the globe. When you couple this with the fact that they can be high in sodium, depending on the variety, and are also full of trans fats, it's easy for some markets to pass on this product entirely. These ingredients can cause an issue with cholesterol, which is known to lead to heart problems. <laughs> They're also full of carbs and don't really bring any serious nutrition to the table. But for the final nail in the coffin, Nabisco made high fructose corn syrup present in the manufacturing process, which can make for a just plain unhealthy snack. While it's true that all things should be enjoyed in moderation, you wouldn't have to look too far to find a healthy alternative to Ritz crackers. Maraschino cherries. Cherries. Maraschino cherries can be a mixed bag depending on which decade you grew up in. These neon red jars are not exactly cherries after they've been floating in sugar syrup, but that doesn't stop them from ending up in nearly every fridge in America. Perhaps you only know them from swanky cocktails or Shirley Temples. Maybe they were your favorite part of an ice cream sundae, or maybe you just ate them straight out of the jar like the rest of us. Whatever your connection with maraschino cherries, not everywhere in the world has a nostalgic relationship with these sugary morsels. The EU has no desire to import a product loaded with red number no. 40, which has been known to cause adverse health effects when consumed in large quantities. The conditions include, but are not limited to, allergies, mental disorders, and headaches in children. Which is better, one or two? One or two. Not only this, but there are a few other downsides to these neon cherries. Many of the benefits of the actual fruit are completely absent in the final product. Cherries are an excellent source of antioxidants, but unfortunately, the more steps needed during processing, the less of its former self it will be. In this particular case, maraschino cherries are almost completely devoid of any nutrients. Not only this, but they have a massive amount of added sugar, making them a far cry of what they once were. So when you add up all the factors, it's not exactly rocket science why some countries simply choose to ban them. Here you go, buddy. It's fresh.
pre-packaged ground beef. I ordered this medium and it's well done. Thank you. Beef, it's what's for dinner. It's one of the most popular meats in America due to the nation's love for burgers. It's multifunctional, tasty, and lays the foundation for an excellent meal. Some countries are less than pleased with the way that America handles its beef production, however. Not all ground beef is made the same, but certain producers have chosen to utilize the infamous pink slime in their pre-packaged ground beef. This is a beef byproduct that is used in the production as a filler. This ingredient is often treated with a ammonia gas, which is the same ingredient that's found in a litany of cleaning products. It makes me never want to eat meat again. It goes without saying, but many health organizations have wondered why Americans choose to use it in their production of meat. The very word filler insinuates that it's used to stretch the overall mass of the finished product, making the meat go further. However, how much should we really be stretching our food? This question has caused the EU to completely reject any any prepackaged ground beef made with pink slime. Many fast food restaurants have used pink slime in the past, but public uproar and viral videos made sure they changed their ways. Is it possible that the same sort of renaissance could happen for the major meat distributors in America? That remains to be seen, but until these companies nix the strange byproduct, the rest of the world will remain reluctant to accept American ground beef. Farmed Salmon that's not a fish, that's a whale. Salmon is largely considered to be one of the most popular fish to eat anywhere in the world. Its vibrant color and unique taste make it a must-have for chefs and home cooks alike. However, some of the ways that the U.S. meets this demand for the fish has made the rest of the world turn up their nose at this delicacy. Farm-raised salmon is enjoyed in many parts of the world, it's true, but the particular method in which the U.S. raises their salmon makes it so countries like Austria refuse to import the fish. What's the best fish here? What's your favorite fish? I don't eat fish, I only like spaghetti. The farm-raised fish are fed many undesirable additives like dioxins and antibiotics. Certain health experts around the world have shown that these unwanted byproducts can be harmful for human consumption and, as a result, won't support the method of production. Wild-caught salmon can be unsustainable if overfishing becomes a problem, but experts and diners mostly agree that wild-caught salmon makes for a more pleasant meal. Methyl mercury tends to show up in trace amounts in many farm-raised salmon, and this is where many health agencies draw the line. This compound is found in light bulbs and batteries so we'd like to keep it off our plates, if at all possible. Milk Are you kidding me? These days, it's easy to get your hands on alternatives to dairy milk. Soy, almond, cashew, and oat milk are all viable options in the morning when reaching for your cereal bowl. There's still a very large market for classic cow milk, and countries all over the world are keeping a close eye on America's milk production. And they aren't too keen on what they've observed. In America, it's not uncommon for dairy producers to add hormones and antibiotics to milk. This, along with dye, can make the drink a far cry from a its original form. The most common and undesirable hormone that's being used in the production of American milk is known as RBST. It's an artificial hormone that's fed to dairy cows in order to increase milk production. This one additive has led countries like Japan, Canada, and Australia to refuse import of American milk. Experts say that the best milk will still come from local organic sources, and due to this fact, many countries still choose to produce their own supply. All these factors are the major reasons and that American milk will stay in America. Pour a bowl of more great videos with a tap or a click, then hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell.